One man is dead after ending up in the water last night. 10 News reporter Hannah Mullins is there live with what might help these missing men survive. Hey, Hannah. And guys, some had boogie boards to help keep them afloat right out there, but for at least one man, it wasn't enough as they worked their way to this shore. We believe that this is a smuggling event and that all, all individuals did come from Mexico. It was a risky cross-border run under the cover of night, but seven people on a small boat didn't slip by the Joint Harbor Operations Center's radar. Border Patrol agents swarmed the scene, but the boat had vanished. And I'd get a it is believed that they were told to swim to shore. TK Michael says the driver saved himself, leaving the others in deep and dangerous waters. It is believed that the driver of the boat did return back to Mexico. The search hampered by a blanket of thick fog. Agents saved one man suffering from hypothermia. He said five others were still in the water. Lifeguards found another man floating in the water. And today, Coast Guard Sector San Diego launched a cutter and a 45-foot response boat to scour the surface. Their Jayhawk was joined by a C-130 from Alaska to search from the sky. Heard the helicopters pretty loud overhead. Laura Bertonelli says it's unsettling. Concern for the safety of those that live here in San Diego. She's also worried about the missing. It's a pretty cold environment, so you never want someone to... to pass in that way because we're talking about people, not things smuggled by a transnational criminal organization using humans and smuggling them and have complete disregard for human life. What may have been hope for a better life has ended at least one. The man agent saved is now in custody since he is a Mexican national. Four people are still missing tonight. We're live in Pacific Beach, Hannah Mullins, 10 News. Thank you, Hannah, and 10 News will stay on top of the search and rescue mission. We'll bring you the latest details on our newscasts and on our mobile app.